It is time to check in with the mayor of St. Catharines and see how the city is doing. Good morning. How are you doing, by the way? You received your first vaccine shot. Uh, doing, doing well. The arm was a little sore. Uh, just a, a couple of small side effects in terms of had some had some brief chills. But other than that, Bob, feel 110 percent. But I would like to say uh, to Clint, and I, I know he's he's going through this right now. I just want to say I wish on behalf of our community a speedy recovery for him and for all the, the people at CHCH were, uh, were thinking about you, Clint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, and, and to the entire audience for uh, all the uh, well wishes. Um, so you actually registered at a number of um, pharmacies. <laughs> to, and finally, you had to travel a little bit to get that shot. Yeah, and it was one of those experiences where, you know, you register like you've been told. You register to the, the pharmacies, and I, I, I picked a whole bunch of, of local pharmacies. And then the... The registration came in, but it wasn't uh, wasn't getting the appointment. So I started making phone calls, and the appointments were being booked. and And then it was just trying to find a, a pharmacy. So Simpsons Pharmacy was the one that I was able to access the vaccine from. But I I share in the the frustration that's out there in, in the community for those looking to get the the AZ shot from the AstraZeneca shot from the pharmacies because. It is a challenge. The, the system that we're using here in Ontario doesn't seem to be connected as well, at least when it comes to the pharmacies. And, and you know, Vaccine Hunter is, is a great tool, volunteer mm -hmm. organization that's looking to put all the information on, online somewhere. Um, but for an individual, and I, I'm the mayor of the city of St. Catharines, and I was trying to navigate through this. So yeah. it's a struggle for a lot of people, Bob. Absolutely. And in fact, uh, the pharmacy you went to, Simpsons, uh, tweeted out, hello, we need some more vaccines here. And that's it. It's like it's, it's the access to the vaccines and it's also the registration system itself. So, mm -hmm. you know, these aren't easy times. So it's I'm, I'm not trying to say that there's there's anyone to blame, but it's really a, an integration of the systems that we need so that when people are registering, there's people I talked to, Bob, that thought, OK, I registered at a pharmacy and I'm just going to wait for them to contact me back and then you hear that other people are making walk-in appointments at the same pharmacy and so the system is a bit you know disjointed right now uh, well there's concern about um, vaccines getting diverted out of niagara as well and and there is obviously there's hot spots and and really if we're going to deal with this this pandemic as forcefully as possible you, you've got to you've got to douse the hot spots just like if you're fighting a fire you've got to go to where the source of the fire is and douse it and so there's been a diversion to those areas where you're seeing a significant outbreak, which is which is Brampton and Mississauga, Toronto. And until those areas are under control completely, we're never actually going to control the virus in the province. Yeah. You uh, spoke at the uh, St. Catharines Business Club yesterday. Um, what were you hearing? Well, the, the, the business community, there's, there's very much a, a sentiment within parts of the business community that, that this has been a, a very long struggle. And so while the businesses that I was talking to understand that there's there's programs available for them at the provincial and federal level, it's still only covering portions of their losses of revenue as a business. And so there's small businesses that were as, pa as part of this call that I did yesterday, and they're struggling. And so they're looking like everybody for that, that, that pathway that's going to lead to a recovery of the economy. And unfortunately, at this point in time, we still have a road to go down. And I believe until we get the vaccines to a certain percentage, which is if you, if you listen to public health in the 60 to 70 percent range, uh, the full opening of the economy may not take place. And so the sooner people can get vaccinated, the sooner that we can start to look at how to open up the economy in, in a more long term, effective way so that small businesses can get back to yeah. what they do well, which is Meantime, great economic growth. Yeah. Meantime, St. Catharines is allowing free parking uh, for uh, on street and municipal lots. Yeah, we're extending that, Bob. So again, curbside pickup in downtown St. Catharines. So there's, there's not, we're not charging for, for parking. We're trying to encourage people to do the curbside pickup, whether it's restaurants or, or small retailers. Just trying to do what we can to ensure that the customer has a smooth, uh, a smooth experience as they go through the online or curbside pickup experience in our down, downtown businesses. Yeah, you've had to deal with uh, beach parking as well. That's been an issue, and you've got another meeting on it coming up, but uh, you've got a plan now to implement. Well, it looks like we've got five days of rain, I think, and I'm no weather person, <laughs> so I'm just going to say five we days of rain. We have one standing by. <laughs> so we'll hear from them, but looking at it, Bob, it's um, 
our beaches are very popular and what we're doing is they're free for St. Catharines residents uh, but for those coming uh, into our community they'll be looking at a, a per hour charge and I just want to say that those dollars go back into enhancing our beaches so those of, who, of you who have come to Lakeside Park or Sunset Beach you're seeing that we're making significant investments into the beach experience whether it be washrooms or pavilions or snack stands and these are the kind of things that we want to do so that when people come into our community, they stay for a longer period of time and those dollars that oh, they put into yeah. the parking meters go back into our community. Yeah. Well, we'll chat again. Uh, we appreciate your uh, weekly updates. Uh, I mentioned yeah, we've got the uh, weather for St. Catharines and beyond standing by. No <laughs> beach weather today. Thank you, Mayor Sensick. Take care.